I don't normally do too much on my birthday, but this year my mom surprised me with tickets to one of my favorite places in Japan, so I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with us on my birthday trip. First thing I wanted to get when we got there was Mike's melon bread because I love melon bread in general but I love how cute they made this. I also got these candles the day before to bring with me on this trip because I thought it would be a fun way to decorate the food. had this juicy melon filling inside and it was so good. Oh, we also got milk tea and it came in these cute celebratory cups. The Tokyo Disney Resort was celebrating their 40th anniversary with a theme called Dream Go Around and they had all these different decorations and new merchandise. They also had so many different mouse ears, but my favorite was the merchandise that showed the different snacks they have all around the park. They even made it into a park checklist. was 20,000 leagues under the sea and there was probably a two minute wait so it felt like we just scrolled right in. In the Mermaid Lagoon, we tried the matcha white chocolate popcorn and the Mickey tropical ice bar, and they were both 10 out of 10. We also tried the curry popcorn from the Arabian coast, and it was easy to see why this is such a crowd favorite. lucky enough to try some really amazing restaurants around the world but the food in this restaurant will be at the top of my list we started with a cold soup appetizer and the main meal was this chirashi seafood plate that was incredible
for dessert, they brought out this cute birthday survey with fun stickers that they hand wrote for me. The rain got way worse and it was so cold that I ended up buying a Mickey poncho at the park. Luckily, there wasn't a wait for the electric railway, so we were able to ride that train across the park to avoid the rain, and we made it to Toy Story Mania where I challenged my mom to a friendly battle. Disney Sea really is one of the most beautiful parks I've ever visited. Just looking around, it felt like we took a trip to Europe instead. Even though it was time to go home, we couldn't leave the park without having one more snack. We also visited a few stores to get omiyage before heading home. Even with all the rain and really cold temperatures, we both had such a good time here. So I would recommend it to anybody traveling to Japan because it is a beautiful place to spend the day and there's really nothing quite like Disney Sea. Since we needed a recovery day, I suggested Kaiten Zushi or rotating belt sushi so we can get some hot tea and choose the place that we wanted at our own pace. Sushi is my favorite food so it is such a treat when we get to go eat at a Kaiten Zushi because I get to pick out all my favorite fish. The quality is so good, it's really affordable, and their menu has a huge variety, like different kinds of side dishes and amazing array of seasonal desserts. This is the tea flavored shaved ice parfait and I also got the warabi mochi or bracken mochi with daigaku imo or sweet candied potato. After lunch, we took a nice walk around the neighborhood took a really long nap, got dinner at the grocery store, and winded down by watching Gudetava on TV. It was a really relaxing way to spend the day. 
Tomorrow, we're going to Kawagoe, a historical part of Japan with beautiful traditional buildings and alleyways and interesting snacks from long ago. I even got to try my hand at baking my own osembe. I had so much fun taking you guys along with us on my birthday trip to Disney Sea, so thanks for watching and see you in the next vlog for tomorrow's adventures.